You are likely familiar with the term lemon used for a vehicle. If you bought a lemon, you know that you expected it to be a quality vehicle and it's not what you had expected it to be. It's, it's worse. It's not as good as you expected it to be. And uh, Satan actually uh, attempts to sell us a lemon. He tries to get us to buy something that isn't actually cracked up to be what we thought it was. And he does this in Genesis 3 with Adam and Eve. Uh, and this is the eighth strategy that we see unfolding here in this chapter. We're in five chapters into Genesis 3. And we see here that he says to them that, that if they eat from the tree, God knows that what will happen is they'll be like God, knowing good and evil. Now he sets this up to make it seem as if there is an experience that they're going to have that they'll want. That uh, pre predominantly that they're going to uh, not miss out on something anymore. There, there's some kind of experience that is satisfying, fulfilling, pleasing that they are missing out on. And they're no longer going to miss out on this experience by eating from this tree and experiencing the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, also, it's that that they will be in the driver's seat, that there will be no longer somebody else restricting them. They get to make whatever choices they want to make. And so there's this freedom that comes from eating from this tree. Uh, also, uh, yes, yeah, so, and that's the third quality is that they'll have this freedom by eating from this tree. They'll have freedom. They won't miss out anymore. Uh, they'll be in the driver's seat. They'll be in control. That's what Satan sells this experience as. And Satan does that in a number of modern experiences. Uh, you can think of going beyond certain sexual boundaries. You can think about uh, idolatry. Uh, I don't want to name too many things, but uh, there are experiences, maybe some drugs, uh, that Satan puts it out there and says, jump into this and this is going to be what your experience is but in reality it ends up being something different and that's the key to the use of the terms or the the phrase that you will have this knowledge of good and evil and when he uses the word no he's using it very much like god used it when he said that adam knew his wife eve that is that he not that he didn't know who she was before but that he had experienced her now. He, he had um, had an experience with her. He knew her in that way. And the knowledge of good and evil is not that you will simply know about it, but that you will experience both good and evil. And this is what God had anticipated or hoped to keep Adam and Eve from, is experiencing evil. And in sinning against God and eating from the tree, they were going to end up experiencing the evil that God didn't want them to experience and the evil that they didn't really want to experience. They just didn't know what they were buying into. And it's interesting that it's the knowledge of good and evil because really what happens is it becomes a mixture. Uh, what Satan tends to offer us is something that is good, is pleasing, is satisfying, and is also destructive at the same time. So what happens is uh, Satan offered them certain things and what they did actually experience is something that brought about pain. It brought about emotional pain. It brought about separation. It brought about anxiety. It brought about rejection. It brought about all kinds of painful experiences uh, by doing what Satan told them to do. It also creates confusion. Now they weren't really sure uh, what their identity was anymore towards God, towards each other. And it just created this confusion within their relationships that they didn't have before. It also generates disappointment. Uh, they, they are now living with the regret of their actions for what they had lost. This is what they had actually bought into, thinking they were going to get what Satan was offering. When you find yourself facing temptation, think about what it is that's being offered, particularly who's offering it, but what it is that's being offered and whether or not you actually want to experience the knowledge of good and evil. 
let's follow the Lord and avoid that and reject temptation. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video or find it useful, then I would like to ask you to please share it with others. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this video or the series in its entirety, then uh, just leave a comment. I'll be glad to answer your questions. And if you would, again, like, share the video, uh, help us get this out to others. And if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to the ch channel, hit the notification button, or on Facebook, hit follow. And both ways, you'll receive notifications when there are new videos. Now let's go and let's uh, conquer temptation.